Today video I am going to show you that Lewis structure, geometry and bond angle of a compound. So first to determine that Lewis structure you need to count that steric number. So you can also see that whole uh, whiteboard I draw a lot of structure. So this is just a common concept. So before going to that Lewis structure you need to know that steric number. Then we will go that geometry and the effect of that lone pair. So first to determine that uh, aesthetic number you need to know that single bond is count as one and double bond also is count as one triple also count as one and lone pair also count as one so uh, to uh, determine that aesthetic number i can give you an example right so we already know that structure of water molecule right so in that order molecule there is two single bond right so one two and two lone pair one three this is four so one two three four so this number are count as aesthetic number so any kind of compounds like ammonia you can see that structure so ammonia has three single bond right single bond which will count as three and one lone pair which will count as one so ammonia also have like four steric number okay so when we count that four or, or any uh, steric number then we can go through that general topics and we can go through that Lewis structure geometry and bond angle of any compound okay so in this video i'm going to discuss about that xcf2 lewis structure its geometry and bond angle and you can clearly see that lone pair impact on bond angle in this video or in that structure so let's start so first we need to uh, find out that valence electron we already know that xenon has eight valence electron fluorine has seven valence electron multiplied by two because there is two fluorine so it will make it 22 valence electron then you need to draw that lewis structure but before go to that lewis structure you need to know which one will go medial so you need to know that least electronegativity of that compound so you can see that xenon has 2.6 fluorine has 3.98 which is approximately 4 so of course that xenon has less electronegativity and it will go to that medium then you need to put that valence electron around that xenon uh, i will put like that then i will place that fluorine this side then i need to put that valence electron of fluorine which is seven Then this is your Lewis dot structure, but if you redraw that, it looks like that. Okay, and there is three left lone pair. Okay, so this is your Lewis dot structure of XEF2, and then you need to uh, find out that aesthetic number, right? So one for single bond, one for single bond, and three, this one, this one, and this one, three for lone pair. So total is five. So five aesthetic number, right? Then we need to match that number to that table. You can see that table, five aesthetic number is here. And then you have three lone pair. So their geometry without lone pair is trigonal by pyramidal. But we have three lone pair. That means it will be go to that. Here you can see one, two, three lone pair. And this structure is linear. So their structure will be like that. which is linear so it has linear structure 
and also their bond manual which is 180 if I put their lone pair here you can see the clear impact of that bond angle of a lone pair so in that video you learn about XEF2 the Lewis structure that geometry is linear and bond angle which is uh, 180 because it is linear and this is clearly shows that impact of lone pair on bond angle okay i think you got that